family. You gotta look like you love your mama. You what? love your mama, right? Yeah. All right. My name is Johnny Strong. I am a mother, organizer, healer, and artist. caring, very loving, love spaces, love community, love people, love putting a spark into a space and making some type of room for inspiration. I'm very goofy, I'm silly, I'm still a big kid, um, but at the end of the day I think what sums it up is just someone with a huge, huge heart. So I have two beautiful children and they are amazing. Um, I have a son and a daughter and Having my children have been the best decisions I made in my life, yeah. bar none, everything like else, that. best decisions. Shall we get up? Come on. Um, so my son came first, he came in 2012 when I was um, finishing my senior year of college. You think at six years old, you know everything it is to know about hooping? Uh-huh. No, I doubt it, son. I already know how to put it through my legs. Okay, and what? And I know how and I know how to put it through my legs when I'm in the sky then dunk it. Um, and then with my daughter, she's special. Um, I had a home birth, I had a water birth with her, and she's a Capricorn child. She's very determined. She's doing a lot of, um, you know, no and self-autonomy stuff. consumed and you know like I don't go scout out police stations and you know go online picking out politicians to like bird dog or whatever um you know like I live a regular life and it's because of the life that I have and the kids that I have that I even do anything that I do whether it be teaching whether it be organizing whether it be like focusing on healing and the healing that we need as black people like all of that stuff comes from me being a normal black woman with two kids who's trying to figure out how to like make sure that the community that I, when I take my kids out of the, the house that they're going to be safe, that they're going to be loved, or that they have enough tools and resources within themselves for when they don't get that, you know. It doesn't take a lot to want to do things. It just takes being conscious of like where you are and having a vision for what it should be like. And I think that's enough to make you want to do something. And I'm doing this because I want to expose a very true and authentic narrative of someone who is wanting to transform society by virtue of the way that I live my life, the way that I interact with others, and also in collectivity with other people, trying to make the world a more equitable, just, harmonious, loving, free space. Um, and I just wanted to kind of combat the very like snapshot type of generation that we're in where things are so small and so kind of like curated in a very specific lens and I want to give a more authentic lens and hopefully inspire other folks to be more authentic so that we can do the work more fully. Yeah.